If you've ever been in charge of making sure your app or service doesn't fall apart under pressure, or if you've stared at a blank screen trying to figure out what's going wrong in production, then you'll understand why a tool like New Relic becomes part of your daily workflow fast. I've been using New Relic across different teams and projects, and while it's not a perfect solution, it saved me more than a few times from long nights and angry Slack messages. The first thing I noticed about New Relic is how deep it goes. Whether you're tracking infrastructure health, real-time application performance, browser-level errors, or synthetic checks for uptime, it throws a massive set of features your way. Their APM application performance monitoring is probably what it's most known for, and honestly, it delivers. I could pinpoint bottlenecks in specific endpoints, track down poorly behaving database queries, and monitor memory consumption, all within a sleek, real-time dashboard. That kind of visibility makes it way easier to keep your product stable and performant. Another big win is how visual and intuitive the dashboards are. Even people who aren't super technical can glance at a chart or a status card and immediately get what's going on. For someone managing multiple services or reporting to business stakeholders, that's gold. Cool. It's also worth mentioning that it plays well with a lot of programming languages and frameworks, Rails, Node.js, Java, you name it. In our case, we had hundreds of servers, and it never felt like New Relic was buckling under the weight. That said, the pricing is where things get murky, especially at scale. New Relic can start off looking affordable. There's even a generous free tier that's great for startups, but as soon as your team and data volume grow, the costs spike dramatically. The pricing model is based heavily on users and data ingest, and that's where you start to feel like you're being penalized for using the product. I've seen teams pull back on full usage just to avoid a bloated invoice, which feels backward when you're trying to build a culture of observability. Speedwise, New Relic is snappy, it loads dashboards fast, and a real-time analytics engine is powerful. I've rarely had an issue with slowness in the UI, and data refreshes quickly enough that you feel in control of live incidents. Still, their Ask AI feature, which is supposed to help interpret data or answer questions, fell a bit flat for me. It just regurgitated docs instead of giving actionable insights in the moment. Support has been hit or miss. When I needed help, sometimes they responded quickly and really worked through the issue with me. Other times, it took over a week just to get a generic reply. For a product that charges at enterprise level, that inconsistency doesn't sit well. If you're on a basic or mid-tier plan, don't expect email support to be fast or even included, which I find ridiculous. One area where New Relic struggles is mobile. The SDKs for mobile app monitoring felt bulky and sometimes unstable, and more than once I had to rip them out due to unexpected crashes. For web applications and backend monitoring, it's a solid win, but if you're building mobile first, you might want to look elsewhere or use it cautiously. So who is New Relic really for? If you're running a mid to large scale web application or SaaS product and need solid all around observability, it's a strong contender, especially if you're already invested in DevOps workflows and can afford to spend a little more for peace of mind. For small teams or side projects, the free tier is great, just keep an eye on the data limits. But once you cross into enterprise scale, prepare to have tough conversations about cost and maybe evaluate other platforms like Datadog or AWS native tools for price to performance comparison. All in all, New Relic has some rough edges, and it's definitely not the cheapest option out there. But when you need clarity, fast diagnostics, and a strong safety net to keep your stack running, it's the kind of tool you're glad to have in your arsenal. Just budget carefully, and maybe don't expect miracles from their support team.